Absolutely, Tabsy. I cannot wait for those musical performances. But you know, before we get into all the music, we have to make sure that our stomachs are lined first. Now struggling to get the kids to eat their breakfast. Well, we have an easy solve. Give them cake instead. Well, we'll explain. Our cookie dough baked oats is just like cake, but it's actually breakfast that tastes way better. The kids are guaranteed to love it. Don't me, girl. Uh, I feel like I was early. <laughs> I think we're early. <laughs> Look at you in that apron. We're, we're, we're used to this. There's a word missing here. Yeah, there's something. Oh, you can make. No, no, wrong one. Express yourself. Express yourself. <laughs> you can't do me. Well, this is what it's all about. We are focusing yeah. on breakfast, child. We're focusing on the kiddies, and we're making something super, super yummy. Now, you said we're giving them cake for oh. breakfast. Yeah. So the idea is it's served to look like a cake, almost like a mud cake, like a, uh, you know, a mud cake that you have in, from the microwave. Yeah. But the only difference is it's more nutritious. It's more delectable. It's more tasty. It's got all the goodness in it. And you don't have to stress about making it for the kiddos. And it starts off with a nice bowl of oats. And we know oats is good for you. It's good for that dietary fiber. It's good to keep you fuller for longer. So you yeah. know if you give them this, it'll sustain them throughout the day. And then into that, we go in with a couple more ingredients, like we've got some yogurt here. And I like to use my double thick. Most people talk about yogurt yeah. and they, they go for the lighter, low fat. I, I feel like it needs to have that creaminess. It Something needs to hearty. have that fat. Correct. Because mm. it also is good fats. So we have to understand that that fat is a good thing. We have to stop fighting that fight about, no, don't give your kids fat. It's a good fat, so don't worry about that. Some vanilla essence goes into there. It's a bit of melted butter just for the enrichment. And then a bit of salt, just like we always say, a bit of salt and sugar. All just for taste. Together. Mm. Just work together, yeah. And then I'm going to add in a couple of our chocolate drops in there but before I do so I'm gonna leave a little bit because we want that chocolate bit for them to see that there's a bit of a treat on the top on the top okay. yeah, and then our Nutri Kids yeah now Dumi you were speaking about um being able to feed the kids something very very nutritious first thing in the morning and that's what Nutri Kids is all about totally enriched with so, so, so many nutritious, nutrients rather, um, and the range is just so versatile as well. And you can use it in almost a lot of recipes as well, you know? Um, it's a source of calcium, which aids in the development of strong, healthy bones to bring out the best in your little ones. I mean, that's what it's all about, especially when they're going to school. That's what it's all about. And I'm already looking at this dish, and for, for the adults, if you feel like you want to have something exactly like this, yeah. but you don't want all, you know, the work that goes into it, you can even make this as an overnight oats. So this exact same meat mixture, don't even bake it, put it in the fridge overnight. Okay. Tomorrow, enjoy it, it's delicious. But for the little ones, because we want them to feel like it's a treat, we're gonna bake this. So this mixture, it's just like you would with any other dough, goes into your little ramekins, or if you've got uh, a muffin tin, it goes into your muffin tin. Okay. And then you're gonna bake these babies up for about 25 to 30 minutes, it all depends on your oven. And then before they go into the oven, just add a couple more of these babies, yes. just for the treat, the celebration, the gift that we're giving them which is nutrition, but uh, wrapped up so nicely, so deliciously, where it looks like something they want to dig into. Now, I've never heard of enjoying cake for <laughs> breakfast, but this is what it's all about. Today, you added some chocolate drops, but I can only imagine you can add some fresh fruit and be very versatile with the recipe. Exactly. You can add some fresh fruit. You can even add some dried fruit because the liquid that we've put in here will rehydrate whatever fruit you've got in there. Ah. So if you've got some leftover apricots, uh, dried apricots or anything like that, pop it in there because it's an additional, you know, layer of sweetness but it's also an additional layer of nutrition from the fruit itself. Wow, look at that. And also, like, the way it comes mm. out is just, it's spectacular. I'm it's... very excited to try it. I mean, this is good for the kids, but even <laughs> better for me. Now, Dumi, something else with this recipe. What is important to remember mm. when it comes to putting this together? It is important just to also know, understand that you're making this for children. Yeah. You can uh, change it up for yourself, but make it for children. Make it in nice posters, you can, um, uh, portions. You can even make this ahead, put it in the fridge, and when the babies are ready, just put it in the oven. It's always a always about convenience for yourself as a parent. Yeah, convenience at tip top, and that's what I'm all about. And if you would like to try this at home and get your hands on this delicious, delicious recipe, please do head over to theexpressoshow.com. I'll go. Oh, he's back. Oh. Clover fresh milk. Made with love by Clover.